That brings us to the end of this course on demystifying networks. What you have learned are concepts of how the MAC layer works, concepts of how the network layer works, how the transport layer works, how applications talk to each other, the security aspects and some troubleshooting aspects. We hope you have had a good time learning in this course as much as we have enjoyed creating this course for you. One other point that we wanted to make through this course is that learning is not necessarily happens only by watching videos of lectures by experts, but learning also happens by doing things as well as learning from peers. We hope you have had a good experience learning from your peers as well. Now, let me ask Kavya about her friend, whether her friend who had come to her with a problem, was that problem solved for her? Yes, it was. And she was also interested in the way we were explaining her using uh, analogies and Jantar Mantra articles. Uh, I think it was more relatable for her because we used contexts which are more familiar and that's why it was easier for her to understand the concepts first and then get into technical jargons. How about the simulations with the packet tracer? So the simulations with the packet tracer were a really interesting thing that we tried. And uh, some interesting things that also happened were trying to uh, connect the uh, analogies and the packet tracer simulations by creating those virtual network of uh, say that Manali and all which actually came out of the analogies. And then we were able to experiment with different uh, devices how they can be connected and as we always say with the simulation it's like a big playground so we should always keep experimenting if you have anything if you feel curious that how does a campus network work why not try it out on that so that i feel brings a very rich experience uh, along with all the uh, topics that we have been discussing yes and one more thing that you might notice is that both Kavya and Ashutosh are you know, soon to graduate from their PhDs and soon they will also be in the position that I am sitting in. So let me also ask them about their experience as instructors in this course. Creating this course was basically fun. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and initially there were a lot of night outs for planning and then for brainstorming, hey, we'll do that, we'll do this. And then when the course actually uh, started, we started recording and putting things into a uh, weak structure. Then it became uh, more structured and then we were a little bit um, ye karna hai, wo karna hai. And it, has, it had to be in that format. The fun thing was a little reduced, but then... <laughs> um, Nonetheless, it was interesting because uh, this was not like traditional course. We we still had too much space to ye kar sakte hai kya, wo kar sakte hai kya. So I completely agree with Kavya and uh, some other things were like, uh, so every time we think of a new idea, what happens is it, it really, you feel energetic about it. You uh, think of a number of things that you want to execute. But when it comes to the execution level, there are challenges. But that idea is that you should uh, find ways to how you can overcome those challenges. And eventually you do find out ways. So uh, one of the things that has worked with us was uh, the way uh, we, uh, we organized it. At initially at a very abstract level, like at a week level. Then we went into, okay, in every week, how do we do different videos? And then uh, each and every topic wise. And then what became easier, even uh, in the part of when we were shooting the course, so what became easier is uh, we could sequence, rather following the analogy of how it happens in a network, we could sequence the videos, we could shoot videos which were of the similar category all differently, and then later on reassemble it as it happens in TCP. So this was a very insightful, especially for uh, creating such kind of a course. Okay, so my purpose for involving Kavya and Ashutosh as TAs for this course has 
been served because they are more than TAs, you know, they are at the level of co-instructors and once they graduate, I am looking forward to them offering their own MOOCs in their own rights. So thank you for being with us for this MOOC. There are several other courses which now build upon these concepts that you have learned. So it's not that this is the end of it. And there are several, um, some of these concepts we have introduced to you in the form of LXTs and uh, there could be entire courses for example one area which we have not touched upon at all is the theory which is behind all of these things so there is a lot of equations and a lot of theory that models such networks so there could be entire courses on that so many of these courses some of these you will find in nptel itself some of these you might find in other MOOCs and so on so depending upon your interest you are welcome to go ahead in whichever way you want in your journey to learn networks and understand them better and better. Thank you for being with us for this course on demystifying networking.